Hello friends, today we will start the tally lecture 1 where a ledger and journal creation will be created. We will learn that. Now subscribe our channel for more learning. When we open, we will get the GOT page. From there press Alt F3, get company info. From there create company option will come. Default page will be there. Now we have directory changing purpose, place backspace delete it now here from there you can create any directory in your any path suppose in desktop i'm creating a folder here this i'm creating a folder now i open it i select this by pressing alt f the path and all C copy all day select and all F all C copy now here I am pressing alt control alt V for pasting it now I am writing company name suppose I am here writing my company name pressing enter I am coming here, mailing address you can give, country obviously you have to select, state you have to select, now pressing enter, enter, I am coming from here, changing the date also possible, but I am not changing, it is already selected, now I press yes or, or enter, now company info, the gateway of tally is coming, from there for ledger creation, Select account info. There, ledgers, single ledger creation. I am creating selecting right now. From there, one by one, our ledgers will be created. At first, I am selecting A's capital account. It should be under capital. Under capital account, I am selecting right now. Now, at first I have to give the, before accepting, give the value. I am selecting as per question, it should be 15,000. Now I am writing that. Similarly, I am creating B's capital. It should be also in capital account. I am not changing anything. Just pressing enter, I am giving the values here. Done. Next one, loan from UBI. That is also under loan and liability. I am selecting that loan and liability. Just pressing enter. Here the opening balance part. There I am giving the value. Suppose 6000. Default it will get credit or credit. Credit or debit. If you want to change. Then you have to give the value. Now I am selecting sundry daters. If the sundry daters or sundry creditors details is given. Then that way we have to be under sundry daters creditors. But if the company details is not given, it should be under Sunday traders or creditors. If the bill is detailed, then we will select yes. Here I am selecting no. Just giving the opening balance. Default it will take credit or debit. I am accepting it. Just press enter, it will accept it. Now, outstanding salary. Outstanding salary should be under current liabilities. Let's press enter. Giving the value. Similar for next one. That is the wages payable. Wages payable also our current liability 
just press enter I am giving the opening balance here right now again the next one furniture furniture account should be our fixed asset this is 10,000 I am giving right now next one machinery machinery is also fixed asset just I am pressing enter and giving the value next one I am giving rent payable rent payable is our current liability Here for all ledgers, you can give any allies name also. I am not giving it here right now. Just pressing the value. Default it will take credit. Next, I am selecting the next one. That is our sundry daters. If the sundry daters, the company name is given then we can separate it under sundry daters similar for sundry creditors also but if it is not the details we are just if it is the minimum balance is given bill by wise division is given then yes else no else i am selecting just daters sundry daters under i am giving the value here twenty thousand. press enter enter to accept it next one SBI account it's a uh, under bank account now the bank in detail you can select the bank name also you can create by giving any alteration creation but online creation but where we don't need it so we are not changing I'm just showing you how can we change it but I am not changing it right now just pressing enter I'm coming outside giving the opening balance here that is 5000 default it will be debited now all the ledgers is now denoted now come outside but two ledgers we don't have to create these are cash and profit and loss so when I create the company default it will be created so from alter option I am giving only the value I am selecting right now cash it should be under cash in hand default it will be created just from alter option I will give the opening balance here similar for profit and loss account when we create the company default it will be created just i'm giving here the value from the alter option press escape to come outside up to gateway of tally now come to inventory info stock item there i'm selecting all the stock items here first one pencil under you can select you cannot also i'm selecting it pressing alt c i'm creating under finished goods similarly we can select another group the pieces groups etc we can select just online creation pressing alt c now you need so I have to select again all C pressing I am selecting it pieces this formal name is P I E C E S pieces the decimal division we don't need the quantity then the rate then the values will come accept 
next i am selecting another one calculator now under the details is already selected so it is already created so i'm just selecting the finished goods under pieces units pieces just i'm giving her right now the quantity red and the value next one similarly notebook under finished good pieces quantity suppose 200 red suppose 10 selecting now pressing escape i'm coming outside get rid of tally now from the reports option balance sheet we can able to check it press alt f1 you will get the details now you can subscribe our channel to learn more tally part all the detail will be there thank you subscribe and ring the bell button and also give the commands for our next lessons what you prefer